Hello, my name is Ashley. Today I would like to, sh uh, to teach you a new painting, a new beautiful scenery that uh, I want to show you. This is the painting which I did this couple years ago for my son. He loved it really very much. So I want to show you this. It's very simple and easy and it's beautiful and you will, can do it in no time and you will appreciate the painting. It's very pretty. It's beautiful scenery it is. So first I want to tell you that what you need about to start, of course, you need the, the canvas as big as small what you like and you need uh, blue, um, phthalo blue and uh, you need the black, you need first black gesso, black gesso, which is, if you don't have this, you can use acrylic, black acrylic paint. You need a brush that you know, it's very, because it's a black gesso, it's like acrylic, don't buy too expensive ones, something very, very simple, so in case if it dries, you can throw it away. Besides that, you know that I have a, we have to have always turpentine, because it's an oil painting that I want to show you. And inside, uh, I have to show you that there is a, we call pig flower, which it is for flower arrangement. Can you see that? A flower arrangement, that when you do flower arrangement, let me see where that one. Which is, this is the one. It's a mess a little bit. It has like nails on it. So this is when you can, you can put in a jar, uh, turpentine, and you can put this picks, which I call pick flower, for the flowers that you can stand for arrangement. What you do is when you brush your brushes, which is inside, and you put the turpentine, it cleans it very, very good. It, the brushes, it separates the thread. It separates, it separates the hair, it keeps it very clean. So, which I always show you and taught you with another segment how to take care of it. But this is another thing that I just find out. It's easy way to do. Always you have, you have, you have to have your color chart. And we will start to do the painting. So, first of all, it's a white uh, painting it is. You need paper towel with you. Now we don't need the turpentine at this minute because the gesso uh, or acrylic, it doesn't need the turpentine. So you need to take a paper towel, you crumble it, and then you take your acrylic or the black gesso, and you pour in it. Now what we have to do is, we have to make the forest, the trees that over here that you see, the, the leaves, the leaves, the brushes, the bushes, and the, and the trunks. So what you do is, you take the paper towel, you smash it, you dip it, and do you see that we want a scenery, we want the sun to shine through to the picture. So you take the, the paper towel and you tap it. This is where you want to do the, the leaves. For example, not for example, you have to make the leaves. So what you have to do is, first you take this and you tap it. Make sure that like, you want to, wherever you want the light to come from, let's say from the right to left, so keep it clean. If you want all around to be trees and the light comes from the middle, that's where you keep, you keep it clean. Whichever shadow you want to make it, uh, you know, that's where you put the, the dark color, the, the trees, the branches. So now I have to do this. this these are supposed to be the leaves, okay? So you take, you tap the napkin, the paper towel, and you tap it like this. So I want the sun, I guess, to come from here, to hit here. So what I will do is, I will keep clean this side, this area. So I will keep it just like here, very clean. The rest, I want to put leaves, and the bottom, of course, a lot of leaves, bushes, that the way you see it over here. It's all bushes, little, little trees. Let me say, I should put this on something like this. So, and then of course, later on, I will show you different things. So this is what you do. And now this is an acrylic. Like I said, it's a gesso, it's an acrylic. It will dry very, very fast. You can just like a little bit tap it if you want. Like little leaves going through, so the sun is like shining through the through the trees. Okay, 
So this is my all trees, the bushes. It's a forest. Now this is how much I want to do. Now what we have to do is with the inexpensive brush, like it's acrylic in case if I have to throw it away, I don't feel bad. It's just a dollar tree, a dollar brush. So what you do is now we have to do the three trunks that you see here. Now the one it's like it's further. So what you do is when you draw it, you make it short. So it shows the furtherness that you see few over here. And then more forward it comes, you make it longer because it's like it will show for you closer. That's why it's the background and the front. So you take the brush, if any kind of brush, if you have it, that as long as you take care of it, you'll be fine. If not, just like take it. And now this is the three trunks that I'm gonna do. You do with the black, you do here shorter ones. You can do with the small brushes too, whichever you want. Something that, as long as you take care of it. Something inexpensive in case if it dries up or whatever, you can throw it away. Now those are like, it's coming closer now, those trees. The ones that it's shorter, it's gonna show like it's far away for you. So those are the trunks. And then later on, of course, you can do a different color. You can put a little bit like rocks, leaves, and things like this and so on. All right. Like I said, this is an acrylic. It can dry very, very fast. So now what we need is a little brush um, that I want to make some I have to do little branches like you see over here like the little branches you need like a little thinner brush whichever how however you want how thick how, how small whatever and you put branches we need some more color okay and now we're putting branches. This is in the forest, of course. The branches. The tree trunks. It can go down, it can go up. However you like. You can put a lot of or a little, whatever you want. And now because the sun is going to hit from the back to the front, you can even make a branches that you can put little animals on it, like little birds or the front. You can paint uh, elephant, whatever. If you watch sometimes uh, sceneries on TV or uh, in any pictures, you see the sun is hitting to the animals like elephants, giraffe, and you see them. It's dark because your eyes the, from the sun if you can see that dark, you don't see really the clear color. So, so you do the way you want to look the forest, the way you want to like to see it. All right. You do your scenery, anything. It's your picture, you can do whatever you want to do. There's no rule regulation. Anything you like, you can do it. Let's say that I want to put the little birds on a, on a thing. You just make a little circle, the body, the feather like sitting here. You can't see too clear, but you can do that. There you go. Let's make it a little bigger. Or looks like squirrel or birds, or let's say it's a squirrel, it looks like squirrel. So you do whatever you wanna do. So this is the way you do it for now. 
and we have to let this stink at least about five minutes even though it dries fast but it needs a little bit time to 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 dry so you do this and you stay for a while I'm gonna leave it just at least for five minutes to completely to dry so I can continue later on to to do it like already when you look at it you'll see it's already the looks like it's a forest now I'm gonna go for you the second step which I'm gonna continue finishing so you can see it later all together now we have to make a few white ones that whatever there is no sun it still shows kind of clear for you for you now um, thank you for watching I'm gonna continue second segment you'll go see it all right